It is the Raw Wrap-Up of Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we are, of course, in the Sorgatron Media Studio here in Beachview, PA, ready to talk some professional wrestling. Raw Wrap-Up, Monday Night Raw just ended with, well, I won't tell you what it ended with, because we have somebody here tonight that uh, didn't really get to see Raw tonight. So you know what that means, Mike. It's time for Two Truths and a Lie. Two Truths and a Lie, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest game show that isn't a game show uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. Thank you so much, everybody, for making it the hottest fake game show on the network. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting some messages. Um, no, no. The echo was because I was playing a thing on my phone right by, oh, by your okay. microphone. I'm pretty okay. sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, I don't hear it anymore. <laughs> I want to make sure. <laughs> Anyways, want to make sure, Sorg, because Sorg, um, so I have I have a bit of a confession to make. Mm-hmm. The only wrestling I have watched since we left the Mayhem show on Tuesday night. Oh no! Was Hell in a Cell. That's it. I have not watched NXT yet. I have not watched 205 Live yet. You haven't watched Lucha? I have not watched Lucha yet. I have not watched Raw. Please tag me when you start watching Lucha. Um, Well, because what I'm telling the Mayhem Universe right now is um, prepare for Tweet Pocalypse, Pocalypse, (laughs) Pocalypse, Pocalypse. Because I'm going to live tweet the whole fucking thing that I'm going to watch tonight, oh, Sorg. All tonight? What are you watching, like eight hours of wrestling? All tonight, Sorg. Jeez. All tonight. Probably. Probably. Until <laughs> until it, until we'll it isn't. We'll see how far I get. Until yeah. it isn't, yes. Yeah, but uh, I'm probably going to start with Lucha because I can't believe I've waited this long. Um, and, oh, boy. You know, you know. And gee, I don't want to get into it. All I gotta say is, is you know how we're like, holy crap, they started with this. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay! 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 And I somehow have not been spoiled. No, 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 no. I somehow have not been spoiled, and if it, if I was spoiled on something, I have forgotten it within the Comic Con ether. Anyways, this show is about Monday Night Raw. Last I checked, so sure let's play. Sorg. Yes, Sorg. Yes, I I saw so many wrestling cosplayers at at New York Comic Con. Oh yeah, I saw a Becky Lynch. I saw a Goldust. I saw a Bobby Roode. I saw a John Cena. Oh jeez, I saw. I didn't see Deep the New cuts. Day like I saw last year. Deep cuts. Yeah, there was a dude. I was walk, I was going to find a panel and the. All I saw in front of me was a guy in a robe that just said glorious across his back. Glorious. Yes. So I took a picture of it. It was pretty great. So first of all, we do have a fan-submitted uh, edition of Two Truths and Lie from our man Brandon out there. Huzzah. Huzzah. And he says, uh, so here's his. Okay. Truth number one, Mike. Uh-huh. Oop, oh, oh, there's your shot. There you go. Okay, uh, yeah. The Shield and Strowman had multiple segments. Ooh. Okay. Truth number two. Okay. The cruiserweight division had multiple segments. Ooh. Okay. Truth right, number right. three. Truth number three. The women's division had multiple segments. Fuck! <laughs> All right. That's a good one. Oh. Ugh. Who does WWE hate more? Cruiserweights or women? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do we hate small people or are we misogynists? What's the answer to this question? We are small misogynists. Um, <laughs> no. I'm going to say. I think that's another profession, Mike. No, no, wait, hold on, hold on. I have a qualifying question to ask for this. Mm-hmm. Does, an, does an Oscar vignette count as a segment? No. Okay. Um, that doesn't make this easier. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go. The Shield and Braun had one segment. I'm gonna mm. say I'm gonna say multiple segments is is the bullshit for that. I wanna say that it's a trick question. Fuck! So we started off hot. They're all truths. They're all truths. Brandon wants to fuck with you. Damn it! You uh, know you, you never start with the bullshit one. You always start with one that. Ugh. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. 
So okay, so let, let let's let's ease into this. So we got I think I have about three more set up for you. Okay. All right. The false. The false. No, not the false. The truths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, the maybe falsest, the <laughs> truth. The facts. The facts. All right, all right, all right. You ready for this? Yes. Titus, the facts and the alternative facts. Titus O'Neil played the banjo. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, Sister Abigail is Jazzy Gabbert. Okay. I think I said that name all right, right? I, you know. Yes, yes, you did. Um, and finally, um, Braun entered a room like old school Incredible Hulk, like Lou Frigno style. Well, I believe the Braun thing because okay. I just, I just feel like that's how Braun enters every room right. he's Be ever in. Because of course, right? Yeah. Because he's Braun. Like, yeah, yeah. His entrance literally is just him screaming. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. So, so and, um, and WWE hates me. So the Jazzy Gabbard thing is definitely bullshit. Okay. That is definitely a lie. And you're saying Tyus O'Neill completely played the banjo? You know... Uh, Are you really going to believe was, that sight happened tonight? Maybe it was Pancake Parison, but I truly believe <laughs> Tyus O'Neill. <laughs> No, he was wearing the suit. You're right. <laughs> You're you know right. why they call him? You know why they call him Pancake Sork? Why? Because he flattens fools. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let's see. Um, was I right? Yeah, you're right. You're correct. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Do you want to know what Braun really? <laughs> you, you you know what you want to know what uh, it's just Abigail is? It is um, Bray. Wearing a a rag over his face and with a voice modifier. So it's a Snapchat filter. Yeah, it is. It's like the shittiest Snapchat filter. Oh god, that. <laughs> See, WWE hates me, Sorg. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like like ups and downs, man. And this was like, no, this isn't great. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. All there, right, here we go. Back okay. to back to. Uh, there was a five-way match to see who faces Asuka at TLC. Wait, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digest it. Okay, digest okay. it. Yeah. Digest right. it. Okay. 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 I'm gonna All stay, right. and I'm gonna stay with the women on this one at least for a moment. Okay. Um, Alexa Bliss continued to taunt Mickey James with old Piggy James clips. Oof. Okay. Mm. All, right. All right. I I I really hope they do that on a show where they also uh, revere breast cancer survivors. That'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and the Shield uh, showed up twice, both beating up the Miz and then putting Braun Strowman through the announce table. <sighs> I oh man, all right. I believe the shield thing. Okay. Because it seems like that's where we were going with this. Okay. Oh. So it's either Piggy James or what was the what was the first one you said? Uh, the five way match to to see who oh, right. faces Oscar at TLC. Okay, so a five way match where the winner loses, <laughs> or a, or a segment where the loser loses. Um, you know what? I'll say this again. The WWE hates me. So I'll say the five-way match is bullshit, and they actually did show Piggy James clips. You are wrong. Oh, thank you God. You are thank wrong. God. Flip right. those so, two. So there was so actually there was a no, five-way match there was, to yes. decide who Asuka gets to kill. Yes. Yes. That sounds like a Dario Cueto unique opportunity. It match. kind of is, right? But everybody was like vying for it and arguing in it, and it involved like Emma and Dana Brooke and Alicia Fox. And oh, oh, so it involved the end the rest portion of the women's division. Yeah, well, and Sasha Banks and Bailey. Okay. Like I said, the end the rest. And nobody told Michael Cole it was elimination, so I felt like I was watching an indie show. 
it was an elimination match? Yeah, yeah. He was really putting Fuck over. Fuck me, how long was that fucking match? At least two segments. Jeez. They eliminated right. they only elim- eliminated eliminated one dur- before the break, I believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me guess. Dana Brooke. Yep. Yeah! WWE yep. sucks! And I and I missed I even <laughs> missed where like Bailey got eliminated after that, so so, um, so who won, Emma? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course it's Emma. They you did, know, they did not. Come on, guys. They did not. Some, I hope it gets. Some hit. say some people say Oscar ended the evolution. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and there was even like little things like Emma patting uh, Dana on the head during the match, like little things from back in NXT. Oh, mm-hmm. sword. It didn't go over well. <sighs> Why can't why can't Emma and Dana be together I know, again? I know they were for like a we're moment. bringing the Shield back to patronize Jen Carlin's. It was Give me this <laughs> to patronize Jen Carlin's, or at least put Dana in Titus worldwide. You know the best thing was like they came out the first segment and they come back for that second segment with Braun and they already have T-shirts. Of course they do. Um, to explain, Alexa Bliss did not uh-huh. use Piggy James clips, but she used a a uh, uh, kind of a. Um, Retrospective. Oh, Alexa. Oh, so, so oh, like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just woke up my Amazon Echo. <laughs> 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 That's going to happen a lot when we're talking about the women's division, thanks to Alexa. Alexa, Bliss. play Impact Wrestling. No, she can't hear you. She can't, it's not. It's not like tapped into the system. Well, all right. Anyway, it was a shot. But no, I wanted to lot. see if Alexa. I want to see if Alexa responded. What is Impact Wrestling? <laughs> But no, there was like a thing about like uh you know uh, 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 wrestlers of yesteryear, um with Mickey James to so, you know just more old jokes <laughs> tell, really. Tell me, th- tell me they showed like only like fabulous Mula, May Young, no no no, no. Lonnie, it was, it was Lonnie Kai, like the oh, jumping geez. bomb angels, and then Mickey James. If only. <laughs> No, because if they only showed like clips of women's wrestlers in the '80s and then Mickey James, that would have been perfect. Well, it's like <laughs> it, you know they're like, oh, a long, 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 long time ago, and I'm like, 2006, really? You know? <laughs> well, I mean, think Sorg, how old do you think Alexa Bliss was in 2006? Oh no, do I you think about it? Do oh. Do you think she could drink yet? Because the answer is no. I was I was. I, Do was, you think she's yeah. in high school? Yeah. Because the answer is yes. I, I I happened across a 17 year old fellow the other day, and I was, we were talking about wrestling, and he's like, and I was like, yeah, I wasn't alive for the Attitude Era and the Cruiserweights oh. to see how that was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, have we got an app for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh exactly. my God. Oh, Tina just did the math. Hmm. Alexa was 14. 14, at, least Sorg. at least she wasn't younger. Why am I not getting chat? I hate the, the Facebook chat. That's okay. I got you covered, Sorg. Thank you. Thank you. Got you covered. Uh, thank you. Um, and finally, I, I don't know if this is quite as good, but we'll see. We'll see. Bo Dallas accepted an award tonight. Um. Well. No, oh, you want the rest of them? Hold on. You knew you need the rest of yeah, them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm just thinking about that because Braun looked like he was going to carry Matt Hardy away, um, Heidenreich style. Okay. Okay. All right. And the main event was a lumberjack match for the cruiserweight title. Oh. That. <laughs> okay. Which so one we, of these? So, so Sorg, basically. Raw has become Monday night's main event, hasn't it? Yeah, the same thought tonight, but but different, right? You know, I mean, it's like they're. What do you? Because I'm guessing the Shield stuff was during the second hour of Raw, right? Mm, well, I don't want to give away what the answer is. No, no, is. no. Well, no, I, I mean the the yeah, Shield yeah. stuff. Oh, the Shield. Told me the Shield, shield was done by nine thirty. The shield is pretty much done by. Yeah, I was gonna recall. say you already told me the shield power bomb Strowman through a table. Mm-hmm. Um, and we know he busted into a room. I didn't tell you why yet. I was gonna say this doesn't preclude that he could sc- that he could abscond away with Matt Hardy. Mm-hmm. Um, you like the word abscond? Sword? Abscond. It's good. It sounds like a very it's a, broken it's a, word. 
It's a good word. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you. No. All right. I'm going to say that is bullshit, though, because we're never getting broken, Matt. We're okay. never. Okay but, that's, even... okay, but that's not the question. That wasn't a truth yet. No, you said he brought he carried away Matt Hardy. Oh, so you say that's bullshit? Yeah, I'm saying that's bullshit. You think Bo Dallas won an award and that the Cruiserweight Lumberjack ended the Dallas show? Should win. Bo Dallas should win all the awards and every single one of his speech should be like, Sally Field, you like me, you really like me. That's false. Oh. Bo Dallas wasn't even there tonight. Oh. But. So, so we really just traded... Bo and Axel for the bar. But Axel won the award. But but why 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 why, why wasn't Bo there? We, uh, they just said get well soon. Also, I don't believe did that you shit. know the Miz is gonna have a kid? Uh, you know, I've heard about that. Yeah, I, yeah. actually I heard um the Miz's kid is going to be born in time enough to see David Otunga in that movie he's in. Oh, that's fantastic. And maybe Bo Dallas is joining him in that movie, too. Um, no, <laughs> Braun had a match with Matt Hardy, uh, went to carry him away. They are talking about how uh, Matt Hardy is kind of losing it lately on commentary. Uh, no, um, no. I, I Show, don't tell. Right, right. Show, right, right. don't tell. And... Because you can say all you want mm -hmm. if you don't show it i don't believe you and <laughs> and the main event was a lumberjack for the cruiserweight title with Kalisto. it was okay and i thought it was very entertaining it was a lot of fun there were holy shit chance what was it a good lucha thing it was a good lucha thing okay because it was a very i think you will like the result i think that puts it i think they put a button in everything that's happened and uh now and, wait hold on hold on is drew gulak out there with his powerpoint he's out there but how would he have his powerpoint i don't know because it's a lumberjack match okay. maybe he doesn't want lumberjacks i no, don't know no he got in somebody's face at one maybe place. i only know maybe once. drew gulak has something against flannel you don't know mm, there's a lot of slides in that panel that we haven't seen yet why well, I mean, i have a lumberjack where everybody wears flannel i mean that just seems to make sense right we've had that have we they had that back back in the 90s Back in the 90s, they had lumberjack matches where everyone wore flannel because I distinctly remember Hacksaw Jim Duggan wearing flannel. This is... <laughs> you have another one. I have... <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but, but do you want to know what the award was that was presented tonight? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you do want to guess at what it was? Um... Ooh. Ooh. So... Curtis Axel won it, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. I I'm just gonna was go. It, was uh, it best? Was it best beating taken by Braun Strowman? Well, no. The name of the awards were the Mizzies. Oh, of course they were. By the way, Sorg, hmm. uh, you need to click that picture I just sent you. Oh no! I, I'm not gonna be able to show. I'm not. I'm, I, wait, I can show it. Like, hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm going to click this in the. It's going to be over your face, so. Uh huh. Um, yeah, that's fine. Redirecting, loading, something, something. Holy crap, they're all wearing flannel. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? What was this? <laughs> On a very early episode oh, of Raw. Crap. Is that Mr. Perfect? It's Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus Shawn Michaels in a lumberjack match. Oh, no. That's Tatanka. Yeah. Why is Tatanka wearing flannel? Because he's a traitor to his people, Sorg. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know Tatanka was Canadian. What? That is crazy. <laughs> I, I told you. I'm so happy you I said told you that. And I'm so happy I have the ability to show that to everybody. <laughs> that just made everybody's night. Oh, I was trying to find the, the all of the actual... Because he gave, gave an award to, to Curtis. And then he gave one to... Um, oh, I forgot Jason Jordan fought Carl Anderson tonight. Two segment match. It's okay. I'm sure everyone forgot about Jason yeah, Jordan. Yeah, that's true too. That's um, just not working out for him, is it? I guess not. That is just not working out. Oh, jeez. The Bar and Axel basically uh, received uh, Mizzies for their assistance. And by the way, Cesaro still has the lisp from his teeth. Oh. 
It's so Poor bad. Cesaro. I think that's just, just, just give him a week off so he can get it fixed. Yeah, because it, dude, it's gonna be like surgery to do that. Yeah, and oh, like that's gonna get infected if he doesn't stop picking at it. <laughs> Jeez, it's probably the hot coffee isn't well for over it either. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, you know what he might need. You know what he might need sword. Hmm. Some Ricola. So I'm sure you can figure out why there was a banjo, right? Uh, probably something to do with Elias. Yes, it was. Yes, it yeah, was. Okay. And guess who cannot play the banjo? I assume Elias. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> um, um, there were a lot of hide and write videos um, or gifs during that too. Hi, um, Dick. I did so, right. So, I did. I did right. So you have the shield, you have the bar, and you have the Miz. Uh huh. Curtis Axel, not part of this. And uh, then, then, then Braun Strowman busts in because uh, supposedly you're gonna love. Well, he's not finished with you. He's not finished with anything because after his his incident with the shield, he he. You uh, know. Wait, wait, wait. He's he's back there with Kurt, and Miz is like. They said they'll beat anybody, you know, any number of people. And, like, there's a pan away and a door, and he busts through the door. Does he say, oh, yeah? Yeah, he might as well. He really might as well. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fantastic. So, Oh, jeez. Uh, so, so do they announce that it's Miz in the bar versus the shield at TLC? Because we can't have title matches? Uh, what's that? Did they announce that it's that it's a six man at TLC? Uh, well, it's actually a, th- a four on three, with Braun on there, and it's and it is a T- wait, and it wait. is and it is a TLC match. Wait, hold the shield. Hold hold, hold on. So, we built up for this whole fucking thing to not do a six man. What? To do a handicap match. To do a four on three handicap TLC match. That now includes oh, Braun Sto- Strowman. So in other words, we were going to do a three on three match, but oh wait, Braun needs to be on the card somewhere and Brock Lesnar can't wrestle three pay per views in a row. Nope. Why why isn't Braun the champion? Ah, uh, new guy syndrome. Bullshit. Brock won the title in less time that Braun's been around. Well, you're about to watch it, so how much of Raw do you think is watchable this week? Oh, that's a that's an intriguing question. I'll I'll be generous. I'll say an hour fifteen, judging mm. by some of the stuff. I'm gonna go two hours even. Um there is definitely stuff like the uh, Jason Jordan and there's a couple other match matches and there's just some stuff that like the crowd did not care about. Like they love the shield stuff. There's well, also, also uh, a lot of talking, a lot of talking tonight. It though. sounds like it because it doesn't sound like there's a lot of match happening. Mm, like it sounds match. like there's a five way. Yeah, but it sounds like there's a five way elimination match, which is at least a half hour. <laughs> I don't know, maybe twenty minutes. It sounds like there's a Jason Jordan match, which is at least two minutes of fast forwarding for me, um, or <laughs> two segments. No. Yeah. Jason Jordan and Carl Anderson got two segments. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. Can we all go back to being two hours, please? Please. Well, we pretty we much got. Need... I mean, let's be honest. It's about two of two and a half hours plus a half hour two o five live. Why don't Why don't we just have two o five live be the third hour of Raw? I know. It solves so many problems. You can do bring you back feel, talking smack. Do you feel maybe they are um, maybe testing that concept the way they've been booking Raw? No. B- no, they've been booking Raw the way they've been booking because football's on. Yeah, I don't believe in football. They've been, they've been, put, they've been putting all nope. the main event guys during halftime of football. Raw is – or uh, football is against my religion. That's That's great, but – Vince knows, you know, no. that football is a big draw. Don't think so. Oh, 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 so and, it is. And. Oh, no. And. Next week, we have booked already. Uh-huh. 
Reigns versus Strowman in a steel cage match. Oh, God. Really? Uh, oh, God. I'm, I'm, uh... That, that's a, that's a, that's a sigh? Really? Sorg, do you know what I want to happen? What do you want to happen? Because, A, we just had a steel cage match. We, uh, well, we had we Hell just Cell. had one, like, three we weeks ago. With Big Show. Yeah, yeah, but we haven't had we Reigns and had Strowman one. in a cage match, Mike. I bet that's even the dark match. I bet that's the dark match for, or was it actually booked for Raw? Uh, I was booked for Raw. Okay, that's, I don't know. It'll be fun. Um... But like, <sighs> well, you know everybody's involved in that cage match. Of course, which is fucking pointless. You know what I want to happen at TLC Sorg? Hmm. I want the Shield to get in the ring, stare across all four guys from the ring, and before the match even starts, Roman kicks both Dean and Seth in the dick and walks away. <laughs> really? That's oh, what I want. That's not how you sell T-shirts. Um, and um, yes, it is. I have because a- guess what? All the T-shirts will have been bought by TLC. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yes, Jen Carlin's will have, have bought them all. Um, Mike, I have a non-wrestling Excellent. question from the chat room for you. Okay. As a bonus. From oh, a- uh, okay. Alex asks, ask, Alex M. asks, mm-hmm. uh, Mike, how do, you, mm-hmm. how, how do you hold the uh, Washington Capitals to win the game on Wednesday night? Oh, uh, well, see, Sorg, uh, the thing about the Washington Capitals is uh, this is October – so this is where they win a lot. Mm. It's generally in May, June, those kinds of months mm. that they blow the tank. Yep. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. Champions of the regular season. Good on you, Washington Capitals. There you have it's it. Like being, it's like being the last guy eliminated in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> you did really well, but ultimately, no one gives a shit. <laughs> Man, Mike. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. Look for a hockey mayhem show very soon from Mad Mike, apparently. Oh, sorry. I would love to do a hockey mayhem show. Oh, geez. You find somebody to co-host with that, and you do everything on it, and go for it. I bet Ch- I bet Chad and I would do that. Pens mayhem. There you go. Ha-ha. I love it. Jeez. All right. And uh, and also. Um, you know what? You I, think, I think you and Chachi would be fun with that, because I think hockey is the only thing he doesn't hate. That, no, he still kind of hates it. <laughs> he still kind of hates it, really. <laughs> he still kind of hates it. <laughs> um, but also, uh, stay uh... tuned to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. I'm gonna be going off. I don't know how much of wrestling I'm gonna be able to watch, but by gum, I'm gonna try to watch everything. Hashtag all everything night that I've long. missed. And of course, check out everything you subscribe to the Raw all Wrap Up. Night long. You can subscribe to the Raw Wrap Up on your iTunes or wherever you like your podcast things. We upload it to our YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And we are live here after Raw. And I know our feed uh, uh, turned off for some technical reason that I cannot disclose or figure out right now. Uh, but it, this is all going to be uploaded. And you guys can get the full shows on any of those platforms when we have those technical difficulties. Thank you so much, Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, Thank New you, York. Thank you, so yeah, we're here in Pittsburgh. Check out everything. Oh, and also, I wanted to give a shout out to our friend Tom Liturgy. He's doing a great history of pro wrestling in Pittsburgh um, class here at CCAC in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, you can check uh, information for it on the link over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, uh, dot com, and uh, and check that out. It's a forty nine. Uh, the $49 class, it's uh, over the next couple of weeks. It starts actually this Wednesday. If you're interested, go hop on that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and Tom also was on the Indie Mayhem show last week. Uh, so uh, give a shout out to that. Check out that interview. We talked a lot about about almost an hour about um, about Pittsburgh wrestling, history of Pittsburgh wrestling. It's a little bit of indies as well. Uh, so go check that out there on WrestlingMayhemShow.com or Indie Wrestling. Dot us and please check out everything at indie wrestling.us and we're going to be talking about ooh, looks like we got some interesting things to talk about on tomorrow's show as well so thanks so much everybody for joining us we'll see you next time keep it 